The fourth urban sketcher. What is he going to draw like? He's going to draw with a big, broad stub nib. And he's going to draw a very, with this very small book, he's going to draw just the just the barest bones of the of the architecture of the thing and um, he's going to draw it on a little tiny book and I'm already running out of space but right in the seam is the middle and again this is not necessarily how the people that are members of the urban sketchers would draw, but I'm I'm exaggerating how they might draw, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So um, there's two arches here, two arches there, here an arch, there an arch, everywhere an arch arch. Um, and by drawing it, it's not exactly Maybe it is, I don't even know. Now I'm confused. I'm seeing it in so many different angles that I sort of forget. But um, I guess it is, from this this view, it is relatively um, symmetrical. And um, Already, I'm screwing it up. Well, every once in a while, even the best artist screws it up. So, I think that this, I will sacrifice this particular drawing and make it look like the artist gave up, which is essentially what I'm going to be doing. In one second, I'm just going to use my magic marker here to sort of block in the large bits. And then I'm going to just cross it out because that often happens with the best of us. We make mistakes and we are not shy about showing the mistakes we make. It's part of life, right? So this urban sketcher screwed up, but maybe this urban sketcher on that page will create a masterpiece, but this one is screwed up. <laughs>